James and Henry were resting down at the sheds, but not for long. Good morning, sir, and uh, pardon me, but who are you, if you don't mind me asking? Lenny Ads, your fat controller's son. Lenny, honestly, what have I told you about calling me that in public? Oh, it's all right. We call him that all the time. Shh. Engines, my shun is finally getting married. He's going up in the world. <laughs> I wanted to celebrate it a little differently, so my father suggested getting the railway involved. We're going to have a special train run from Tidmouth to Marin, where the party will take place. Mm, interesting. We hypothesised that either of you would be quite suitable to pull the train, but we have made a decision. Oh, you've made the decision, eh? James, you're going to be our wedding engine. Oh, marvellous. I promise to be on my best behaviour, Mr Lenny. <laughs> I wouldn't want to make the happiest day of your life the worst day of your life, if you understand what I'm saying. Oh, I do. And I doubt you will, if you understand mine. Now, for the choice of coaches, oh, and not those Mark 1s for a start, they're far too chatty. Well, aren't you lucky? Why, yes, Henry, I am lucky. No way you could have pulled the train. <laughs> your colour is nearly as unique as mine. And what does my smart green paint have to do with anything, hmm? Green is an ordinary colour, Henry, you know. And having a wedding on a train, well, that certainly isn't ordinary, is it? Not like my smart red coat. Oh, of course he'd let it go to his smoke box. Something will happen. Something will happen. At last the day arrived. The coaches had been specially prepared. The bride and groom would travel in the small coach, while the rest of the guests would travel in the other coach. Oh, I do hope James will get there on time. I wouldn't want him to be late. Can't go wrong with a steam engine, can you? Aye, as long as it's on time. Which my engines always are. Here's... James, glad you could make it, chap. Emily, this is James, our transportation. He's so sweet, isn't he, Lenny? Well, <laughs> when you put it like that... Oh, Emily, don't go flattering him. Excuse me. Imagine having an affair with a steam engine, really. Only the maddest of minds would conceive of such a thing. Sorry, James, but my art belongs to this man right here. I can tell. Chattering lively, the guests boarded the train and soon it was time to go. Farmer looks like he's waving at us. We'd better stop. Something wrong? You've got to help me. My sheep have escaped. Escaped, you say? Oh, you must have left the gate open or something. Will you keep an eye out for them, will you? Well, we'll do our best. Er, you're a lifesaver, Henry. Missing sheep? Wedding trains? I'd say this railway's getting stranger, but that line's already been crossed. <laughs> I wonder where they've got to. Meanwhile, James was enjoying himself, and so were the guests. Enjoying the scenery, Lenny? Indeed I am, James. But don't you go too fast. We want to remember the train journey whilst we can. Course of course. Yeah, fair enough, yeah. I don't believe it. Sheep? What the blazes? Sheep? Sheep? I love sheep, I do. Get on you, you nuisances. Oh, well, this is a right to do, isn't it? I thought you said your trains were always on time, Topham. Hey, don't blame me. It's not exactly my fault the sheep have strayed. Don't just stand there. Give us a hand, for Pete's sake. What in this outfit? Emily, didn't you once tell me your grandfather owned a farm? Yes, he did. <laughs> I remember he would toss a cabbage across the field to get them shifting. Well, Emily, that would be helpful if we actually had any cabbages. Ah, so this is where the sheep have gotten to. <laughs> Hello, James. I'm glad to see you, Henry. <laughs> Maybe you can help us. What? You glad to see me? I never thought I'd hear it. <laughs> This is a woolly bad situation you've got here. I bet this wedding is going absolutely brilliant at the moment, isn't it? Thank you, Henry. Now, could you actually try and help us? All right, all right. I have a special tactic when it comes to dealing with livestock. 
It cannot be bleat. Get on with it. Okay, okay. Stand back, everyone. Listen here, Woolly Wonders. My friend is taking a train for the very important passengers, and I will tell you this. They will not let some four-legged furry creatures get in their way. Oh, okay. My babies, there you are. I'm so happy you're safe. Well, someone's pleased to see them. Oh dear, this won't do. Never mind, I've got the perfect thing to get this lot moving. Yay! Yeah! Yay, finally! Yes, come on you lot, back in, we're behind schedule. With that cleared up, the trains could finally get on their way again. When they arrived at the next station, James was worried that the passengers would complain about the time. But they didn't. At all. That was great fun! Shame about the time, but it can't be helped, I suppose. Could have been much worse. Thank you for getting us to our destination, James. Better late or never. What's the name of that green engine we saw? A whim? He's called Henry. Your railway seems like a very lovely place. And trying to get those sheep off the line, well, it took me back to my young days. We'll definitely come again. Maybe even bring our children if we have any. See you, James. Take care of yourself. A week later, Henry and James were talking about the whole affair to Gordon. And in the end, the farmer had to tempt them away with milk. Milk of all things. Better luck with sheep than I do with cows, anyway. Oh, hello there. Excuse me, is the engine who pulled Lenny's train here? He is indeed. Well, we had such a fun time the other day, we were wondering if we could use you as a wedding engine too. Well, I suppose... Hopefully without the sheep next time, right James? Oh, I don't know, it worked well last time. Oh, honestly, James. <laughs> Since the 19th century, the steam locomotive has become one of the most popular forms of transport across Great Britain, evolving with design after design. And then you have these idiots.